Samsung has officially released the One UI 8 stable update alongside its latest phones, the Galaxy Z Flip 7, Galaxy Z Fold 7, and Galaxy Z Flip 7 Fan Edition. Now, the company is gearing up to bring this update to older Galaxy models as well. Before we dive in, a quick heads up. If you're planning to buy the Galaxy Z Fold 7, make sure to use the exclusive links below made just for Kit Android HA viewers to grab some awesome perks. You'll get a free $50 Samsung credit just by clicking the link, plus up to $150 storage upgrade credit. That means you can either double your storage for free or get a big discount on the 1TB model. On top of that, there's up to $1,000 in trade-in credit for your old Samsung phone and 30% off Galaxy watches and buds. These are limited time offers, so don't miss out. A well-known tipster, Tarun Vats, has spotted the first test build of One UI 8 for the Galaxy S23 Fan Edition. The build number as 711 bxxu 9 fyg 2 confirms that Samsung has started working on the update for this device. Currently, only the European version of the S23 Fan Edition is under testing. But this strongly hints that the official rollout could be just around the corner. Besides the S23 Fan Edition, Samsung is also testing One UI 8 on several other devices, including the Galaxy S24 and S23 series, the new foldables like the Z Flip 6 and Z Fold 6, and even some mid-range phones like the Galaxy A56 and A36. Although the stable version launched with the new foldables, Samsung has not yet announced when other devices will receive the update. For now, only Galaxy S25 series users in select countries can try the improved One UI 8 version. One UI 8 brings a range of new features, faster performance, and a more refined design compared to its predecessor. Once it reaches your device, you can expect a smoother, smarter, and more polished Galaxy experience. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. Samsung's mid-range phones are finally joining the Android 16 party. After weeks of silence, One UI 8 testing has officially expanded to two popular A-series devices, the Galaxy A35 5G and the Galaxy A54 5G. Both phones recently received the One UI 7 update based on Android 15, but Samsung is already hard at work on their next big upgrade. Let's start with the Galaxy A35. Samsung has rolled out the first internal One UI 8 test firmware for this device, carrying the version A356BXXU5CYG5. What's interesting is this comes just two weeks after the Galaxy A55 began its Android 16 testing, showing Samsung is treating the A35 with nearly equal priority when it comes to software support. Meanwhile, the Galaxy A54 5G has also officially entered the One UI 8 development cycle, a fresh major build, version of 546 BXX UUA5, has appeared on Samsung's firmware servers, confirming internal testing is underway. While the update might still take a few months before rolling out publicly, since flagship devices get prioritized after beta programs end, this is a strong sign that progress is moving fast. Both the A35 and A54 had to wait quite a while for their Android 15-based One UI 7 updates, but this time, Samsung seems to be moving quicker. With the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and Flip 7 launching with One UI 8 out of the box and the Galaxy S25 series already in beta, the mid-range lineup is not far behind. In short, Samsung is pushing ahead to bring Android 16 and One UI 8 to more users, and the A35 and A54 are next in line. Here's the list of eligible devices for One UI 8, Galaxy S series, S25, S24, S23, and S22 series, Galaxy S25 Edge, S24, S23, and S21 FE, Galaxy Z series, Z Fold Special Edition, Z Fold 6, Flip 6, Z Fold 5, Flip 5, Z Fold 4, Flip 4, Galaxy Tab series, Tab S10 Plus and Ultra, Tab S10, Tab S8 and S8 Plus, Tab S9 Series, Tab S9 FE, Tab S6 Lite 2024, Tab A9 and A9 Plus, Tab Active 5 Pro and Active 5, Galaxy A Series, A73, A56, A55, A54, A53, A36, A35, A34, A33, 
a 26, a 25, a 24, a 23, a 16, a 15, a 14 LTE slash 5G, a 06, Galaxy N series, M56, M55, M54, M53, M35, M34, M33, M16, M15, N06, N05, Galaxy F series, F56, F55, F54, F34, F16, F15, F14 LTE, F06, F05, Galaxy C series, C55, Galaxy X cover series, X cover 7 and 7 Pro. What are your thoughts on this update and the rollout plan? Let me know in the comments section.